Seven or eight years ago, I started carrying uh, reading materials, usually a book, outside of my bag everywhere I went. I wanted especially young men of color, boys and young men of color, and other folks in the community to see someone who looked like them who was proud to be a reader. But I realized that we needed a critical mass of people. On Saturday, September 19th, 2015, Total Equity Now, a nonprofit organization focused on educational and economic development in Harlem, held its fourth annual Literacy March to promote reading in the community. I live in this community, and one of my goals and my dreams was to have a bookstore in the community where I live. Because from east to west, there were no bookstores uptown. One of the things that was said when we opened is, oh, she's not going to make it because black folk don't read. Mm -hmm. So enough folk are reading that we're here, we're here, and we're here. Well, I've been a teacher for over 20 years and I teach adolescence and my book is, is written and the focus is on a child who's dealing with moving from a mainstream classroom, which is a large regular ed setting, to a special ed class, which is usually a much smaller setting um, with a lot of support attached to it. And the middle school students recognize that those are the kids who are struggling and a lot of children are reluctant to go into those settings that can give so much help. I think reading books that basically depicted, um, well basically told the history of my ancestors um, has really empowered me and given me some confidence um, to make connections with people back then, you know, in my bloodline. So that really empowered me. The autobiography of Malcolm X gave me an entire uh, uh, different outlook on the way humans should be living. Racism should not exist. And and because it and since it does exist, it should every human it should be every human's uh, uh, obligation to uh, eradicate it. Knowledge is power. That's what they say. Knowledge is power. That's what they say. I think I read a book today. I think I read a book today. Rock those reeds. 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 We had a huge stack of mostly children's books, all of which would be donated to homeless shelters in our community. Both the staff and the parents and the families, uh, the young people who happen to be there, are excited. Some of them will race over to the books to find out, you know, what's in this new shipment of books donated by uh, fellow Harlemites. And it's about connecting folks who have many resources with folks who may not currently. Um, and that's what community is about. New York in poetry. New York in poetry. Read it, you too will see. Read it, you too will see.